And that alone is a blessing considering that you didn't even think that happiness existed. <laughs> because this is really a lot to go through. That's the worst and the last place you want to be. They may not be there for you as much as you might end up being for them in the future. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Annery Morgan and in this video I'm going to talk about how to live your best life after leaving the Jehovah's Witness organization. Before I get into the video, I have to acknowledge the support that I got from the last video where I spoke about how I woke up from the Jehovah's Witness organization. You guys left comments, you liked, you subscribed to the channel, you sent me personal messages on Instagram. When reading comments and all your messages, I was thinking that you guys really kept that loving family kind of support that we kind of learned while in the organization. And it's cool that you guys kept that positive aspect of it. So with that, I decided to make another video and to try to keep the same pace or tone of being uplifting. And that's why in this week's video, I'm going to talk about how to live your best life after leaving the Jehovah's Witness organization. Consider this as a guide in your newfound freedom. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to mention is, of course, I need to congratulate you. Yes, it sounds corny. And to people from the outside, it probably seems like it's not a big deal. This is not just church hopping. This is you waking up from the mental blockade that was stopping you from living your best life. So you do deserve a congratulation. I want to talk about the emotions that you're probably going to go through or experience. The first emotion that I had to deal with was my anxiety. Finding out that something you've always believed in and all of a sudden it was all a lie or it's not true anymore, that alone can cause you to go through a whole whirlpool of emotions. And you might even be wondering, okay, so if this isn't the truth, then what is? And then you're thinking, oh my goodness, so who is God? All of these questions might be going to your head. And a lot of persons actually end up even rushing into new faith because they feel like they must attach themselves to a particular religion or a group of people to feel like they belong to something. And then for some people, they have anxiety now thinking about how they're going to interact with their family from now on, considering that the whole shunning. It's unfortunate that making such a decision about your personal religious life have to have an impact where you might lose your family and friends that you love so much. But on behalf of them, if you remind yourself of how they're processing it, maybe it can take some of the burden and disappointment and anxiety away. Remembering that they're doing this because they truly believe that it's the best thing that they should do. It's unfortunate, but that's just really how it is. And knowing that you now know better, maybe it's going to be hard, but you'll probably have to make a conscious decision to know that they may not be there for you as much as you might end up being for them in the future, whatever the outcome is. That's sad. <laughs> And then the next emotion that you might experience is probably anger. Thinking about the years that you've lost, I remember that reading the comments from my last video, a lot of persons were talking about, oh, it's a good thing that you got old as you're young. I was in it for 30, 40, 50 years. So if you probably fall into that category where you can look back and say, oh, it was this much years that I lost or that I dedicated to this organization, that might make you a little bit angry. Or if you were actually born into the organization, you might even feel anger at probably your parents or your family thinking why they never did the necessary research before they brought you up into this organization. And then you might also experience loneliness, especially if it is that you're the only person outside of your close family members and friends that walked away. You might have to find a whole new relationship set up system of friends and all of that. And it's because of all of these experiences that you might go through that cause a lot of persons to be still personally in and mentally out because this is really a lot to go through. But as time goes by, you might begin to feel peace, peace within yourself, peace with the decision that you made. And then comes a state of happiness. Yes, like real happiness. Real happiness does exist in this world, contrary to what we believe. Yes, there's a lot of things that are unfortunate and that we might be personally going through or even going on within the world that puts a damper on our life and experiences. But there are still things that can happen 
something for us that can make us genuinely happy, you might actually start to acknowledge the real happiness that you're feeling. And that alone is a blessing considering that you didn't even think that happiness existed. So now on the topic of finding new faith, during the anxious phase or during that phase of anxiety, a lot of persons feel lost and then they kind of rush into another organization or another religion just because they feel like, oh, there must be a God. So I need to go associate myself with a religion or something. I'm not saying that it's a bad idea to find another worship that you like. That's totally fine and that's totally okay and I'm not against it. But I'm just suggesting because it's your life. (laughs) I'm just suggesting that you take your time because the last thing you want at this phase is to make your anxiety make you fall back into another situation or another organization or another religion that is really the same thing just with different words or different faith or different teachings. That's the worst and the last place you want to be. In my case, I don't go hunting. I take my time. I'm reading. I'm not associating or attaching myself to any organization or any church or anything at this moment. And maybe it seems like a confusing state to be in where there's a big question mark on your faith. But coming from someone who's in that question mark phase, it's not as scary as you think. In this particular moment, I'm just being patient with myself. Take baby steps that you can actually be confident and sure about whatever decision you make in the end. And then the final point, which is the point that I'm most excited to talk about, is to go and have guilt-free fun. Do you know what that means? When you were attached to this organization, more than likely, you probably didn't even explore all the things you like to do or all the things you wanted to experience because you were restricted by an organization that was time-consuming and that really worked on your guilt but now there's absolutely nothing holding you back so whatever part of the world that you're from dive into your culture and experience what you've been missing in my case i can talk from a caribbean or a jamaican standpoint go experience carnival wear the costumes with the bikini and the feathers and all of that you know express yourself the way you've always wanted to express yourself with your clothing or get piercings or tattoos i mean if you wanted to try out the bars in your neighborhood or whatever it is just have responsible fun <laughs> lord me no one leave people in that name dead jesus christ if you wanted to get that degree get that degree do what ever you want to do watch the movies you've always wanted to watch but couldn't watch play call of duty whatever video game i'm not saying go ahead and waste your time and really like have life pass you by and skip work and do things that aren't responsible i'm not saying go and get drunk till you're pass out and try drugs i'm not saying go and make unsafe decisions but there are a lot of things that you were restricted to that really never had that much harm to your life you know go ahead and enjoy that and experience that if you're jamaican go and listen to some vibes cartel If you don't know who Vibes Cartel is, don't Google him, but you get my point. Go have fun. Celebrate your birthday. It's a blessing to make it another revolution around the sun. And if you even want to, whether you attach yourself to Christianity or not, you can still decorate for Christmas and enjoy the whole setting of the Christmas spirit because there's a whole vibe attached to it that's worth experiencing with no consequences. (laughs) All in all, depending on how you take it or look at the situation, This is really an exciting time for you. And it's just your perspective that can affect how you live the rest of your life. And with all of that said, you should tell your story. There are a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses that are in the organization that are personally in and mentally out. One thing I didn't even know is that there aren't many other or there probably isn't any other Jamaican Jehovah's Witness that's publicly speaking about leaving the organization. So there's probably even a niche for you depending on where you're from or your culture. Telling your story whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or a Reddit post you have no idea who could relate to your story and who you could motivate to being free 
And it's unbelievable the support that you get just from just saying that you're no longer in the organization. That alone could be enough motivation to keep you driven and keep you going. That's all I have to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these types of video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to also do other videos on other life lessons that I've learned. So stick around for those videos as well. And thanks for watching.